Hello and welcome back to a kooky corner of YouTube. Uh, today I have got a little bit, well, I did splurge a little bit, but uh, I've got a bit of an art haul for you. Um, some of this is from uh, Jackson's Art, some of this is from Cass Art, and a couple of things from Amazon that I picked up. And mainly I have been getting some acrylics. Now these acrylics, I actually got one of these in a scrawler box at one point in time. Really enjoyed it and I thought um, I picked up a couple more at some point in time and then I've bitten the bullet and gone for my <laughs> my whole palette, the palette of colours that I usually use. Mainly, I've got a few still to get because you know you, you just have to restrain yourself. <laughs> But yeah, um, I've got more than I was showing on screen at the minute because I couldn't fit everything on. So I'll just go through the colours that I got. This is the Amsterdam Standard St Series All Acrylics. They do a professional one as well, I think, which I'm going to look into at some point in time. But for now, the Standard Series is great for what I'm wanting. This one is the Ultramarine Violet Light. And um, it's the Royal Talons at Amsterdam brand, just uh, to put you in the loop. And I really like Royal Talons stuff anyway. It's very good quality and I like it. So pigment in this one is PW6 and PB19. And it's a beautiful colour, but I will swatch these out at some point later for you to see. So that's the first one. I don't know what I'm going to do with these because I've got so many. <laughs> okay, the next one I got was Azo Yellow Yellow Lemon. And this is PY3 as a pigment. It's a really nice, bright yellow lemon colour. I'm not a big lemon fan, but I do find that this sometimes works as a pop of colour in, in some of my paintings. So that's that one. This one is King's Blue. It's number 517. I'll give you the numbers on the other ones later. So it's PW6 and PB15. There's the pigments in this one. Just to go back over the other one, the numbers on those. 267 and 519. We're caught up now. Next one I have here is this is the 577. This is the permanent red violet light. I love this colour so much. It's really, really nice. And the pigment on this one is PR122 and PW6. This is an unusual one and I really like this. It's kind of a Naples yellow green. It's got kind of a greeny tinge to it. And I thought it looked interesting. It's not actually one that I use in my palette of colours, but uh, good neutral is always good to have. And this looks like the one for me. It's a 282 and it has pigments PW6, PY42 and PG7. These are the ones off screen that you can't see. So this is another yellow. This is an, a deeper yellow. It's the Azo Yellow Light. It's 268 and the pigments are PY74. I have a feeling that things are going to fall down in a second at the side of me because I've got lots of these. Um, Quinacridone Rose Light in a 385 and the pigment in that one is PV19 and PW6. And Sky Blue Light which is 551 and that's PW6, PB15 and PG7. So I'm putting them down here out of the way so that I don't knock everything over. Next one I have is the 621. This is the olive green light. Really interesting green. I like this. Um, 
pigments in this one are PG7, PY74 and PY42. Coming on to Quinacridone Rose Light. That's not one I've already got, is it? Did I buy it twice? I don't think I did. Just double checking back. No, 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 I didn't. <laughs> This is where everything falls down. There we go. Uh, 385. This is pigments PV19 and PW6. And that's the quinacridone rose light. Next one is Azo Orange, which is a 276 in the numbering. And the pigments on that one are PO34 and PY74. We have uh, manganese blue salo. This is eight, sorry, five eight two, and it is PB fifteen PG seven in the pigments. Coming on to one of my favourites, caput mortuum violet. I love this. I have a caput mortuum pencil in um, my polychromos range and that's one of my favorite pencils. I just love the color of this. I love the name of it. I love everything about it. The number on this one, I don't know if you can see, that's 344. And the pigments in this are PB19, PBK7 and PW6. And the last one that I got was uh, greenish blue and that's five, I don't know if you can see that, five, Five seven, and the pigments are PB15, PG7. So I will swatch these out at some point so that you can see them. And now on to other things, um, other things that I got. These were an Amazon purchase because I bought them from Amazon before. I know I could probably find them somewhere else, but um, really just wanted to quickly grab these because I need some new sketchbooks. So the first thing I got was a Moleskin watercolour notebook. This is the uh, Aquarelle watercolour notebook. Uh, 72 pages, £130 paper, cold pressed on both sides and acid free. Love these. I have one that goes that way. Oh, in fact, I've had a couple that go sort of like landscape way. I just wanted to get this one for a change because I want to try out some... Um, abstract in this and I thought this would be the way to go for trying out different colorways etc because the watercolor paper is going to hold whatever I throw on it basically so that's uh, that one the next thing I got was a sea white love sea white sea white notebook uh, with a nice thick cartridge paper in it, just great for sketching and just being a general beauty of a notebook. These come in different sizes. I think I showed you my um, Inktober, Ghosttober, Drawloween book. That's a, a C white book as well. And I'm really enjoying their paper. I've got some more things coming of C white. So I've got some C white postcards which I reordered. I love those and um, can't remember what else I got something else that's from another company that I'll show you when they come on to this beauty this was on offer from Cass Art and I could not resist I have been seeing this set um, around and about on YouTube and I uh, used to do used to do um, a little bit of graphite drawing and um, have loads of pencils, pencil sets in different colours. This one appealed to me because it is the matte graphite. So you know how you draw with pencil and you tend to get a sheen on top of it and it shines. This allegedly does not or is much reduced and also, not only but also, includes the world's first 14B pencil. And I got a free pad as well, which is worth eight seventy-five. So I thought that was a really good deal. So let's crack this boy open. Excuse the tearing sounds. <laughs> I saved this so that I could open it with you guys. 
Uh, let's grab this out. A lot of plastic on this, more plastic as well. I suppose it protects the pages, but you know. So that came together as a set, which I thought was great. So Cass Art, if you are interested, it's a UK company. Uh, but if you are interested, um, I've got this as a set, which I was quite happy with. Okay, so more plastic. Plastic, lots of plastic. Okay, so 11 pit graphite mat. Graphite pencils and accessories and finest artist quality made in Germany. Extremely matte graphite of a supreme artist quality, ultra matte graphite lay down for reduced reflection on paper, highest color density for maximum depth effect, smooth graphite application, ideal for writing, drawing and sketching, extra break resistant, environmentally friendly water-based varnish available in eight degrees of hardness so hb 2b 4b 6b 8b 10b 12b and da, 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 14b <laughs> let's open it up i've got a little booklet it's a nice tin actually i have to say i do like a nice tin of pencils let me get rid of this plastic So we get a set of pencils. Obviously we've got an HB, 2B, 4B, 6B, 8B, 10B, 12B and this beauty 14B at the end. We have a little uh, smudge stick or torsion, I don't know what you call it, a smudge stick or a torsion. Uh -huh. And then we have a little pencil sharpener. I'm not sure how good that is, but I will test it out and let you know. And a PVC free uh, eraser. So that's a nice little set. I like the little finger um, holds that I can stick my finger in so that I can um, actually retrieve these from the little places in the tin, which is great. The little booklet is fabulous. It's got all the things that are in there. It gives you some idea of um, the pencils that you're getting. That'll be some bedtime reading for me, some different techniques, cross hatching, shading, erasing, smudging, etc. etc. So that's that. Really pleased with that. And um, I'll be back in my next video, I think, and swatching out all those paints for you to see. Um, I'll, I'll not keep you in suspenders. I will put it up fairly soon after this so that you can see the swatches of that. Uh, but yeah, that's my very... Um, I wouldn't say as modest as a lot of acrylic there, but um, I just really want to go to town with those acrylics and I will be doing something with those very shortly on some of the boards that I've ordered. So for now, that's it. That's my little art haul. As I say, I will be back with part two of this for the swatchy swatch to show you how all of these things look. See you then. Bye for now.